G'day reefers, welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Anya and today we're going to do a fish feature segment here at Gallery Aquatica Wynnum. Today we're going to tell you everything you need to know about keeping Terraleotris zebra. So barred dartfish are also known here in Australia as zebra gobies or zebra dartfish. And you can see how this name comes about because they have these vertical bright orange lines going all the way across their body. The background is a tealy grey colour which provides a nice contrast to those bars. And they also actually have pelvic fins which are a nice prominent yellow which you do see sometimes when they display for courtship behaviour they will attain a size of about 12 centimeters, which is uh, about four to five inches. And they're often quite a beautiful addition to a reef tank because they're completely reef safe and they tend to hang out in these groups and they get a lot more confident when you add them in either pairs or in groups such as what you see behind me. So, what do these guys like to eat? So let's look at what zebra gobies like to eat. Now these guys are pretty much carnivorous, which in their case is actually planktivorous. So when they're looking at what kind of plankton they like, they eat a range of zooplankton, which pretty much covers any small animals in the ocean, such as mice's shrimp. They love to eat artemia. We feed them krill. I don't doubt that they'd probably enjoy a diet of any kind of chopped seafood if you got them used to it. And it's very likely that you'll be able to get them onto prepared foods such as premium flakes and pellets down the track. They tend to enjoy being fed uh, and they even when they've here for a really long time, they really start to become quite confident and sometimes they even jump in our hands when we're feeding them, which makes for a beautiful display when showing customers to consider them as an option for their reef. Part of the reason why zebra gobies are such a wonderful addition to your reef tank is because they're completely reef safe. They are not known to harm any invertebrates such as shrimp or snails or urchins or starfish, and they're definitely fine with a whole range of corals. Where I probably wouldn't put them is a predator setup because you would really hate for them to become lunch. However, when you're looking at the size of tank that would be appropriate, I did find some information online which I wasn't really sure I agreed with. They were saying that 120 litres would be fine. That is 30 gallons. I would probably say 150 to 200 as a minimum simply because they are better in groups and unless you don't have any other kinds of fish and you have a, a very minimalistic rockscape, you're really not going to get the best in their behavior and display, mating displays, uh, having them sort of jammed up in a smaller space. The substrate is also something that is important to consider because although I wouldn't consider them to be a sand sifting goby, they do tend to embark on this kind of behavior where they dive down into rocks and caves of an evening uh, or when they're alarmed. And I think that they would feel far safer if you provided some substrate in with them. So when it comes to giving zebra gobies a difficulty rating, we use a scale, one being the easiest to care for in captivity and 10 being the hardest. Now I rate these guys a two, and that is because I find them to be completely resilient to living in captivity. We find them to be easy to feed, very compatible. They are peaceful and they're always prominent and out and about, which makes them a great fish addition in my books. However, they didn't get a one because they are jumpers. Any long-bodied, fusiform-shaped, torpedo-shaped fish such as this is going to be prone to being really good at propelling themselves and jumping out of the tank. So make sure you sort out your lids 
or never aim to scare them in a hurry so they don't jump. So just to summarize, Terra Leotra Zebra are a great addition to any reef tank and they definitely get a thumbs up from me. They are easy to look after, great in captivity, show some really fun behavior when it comes to courtship and they're completely reef safe and peaceful. Thank you so much for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Anya and happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!